guys welcome back to the channel uh, just want to do a quick DIY um, on how to pretty much remove the trunk or um, removing the subwoofer box and this is kind of nobody has done it uh, on the YouTube I mean I didn't want people do it but really not mentioning much about it so um, just kind of give you guys a, a point guard like what to do so first thing first you want to do is remove the um, the floor mat Take it up once you've done that and then there's a couple tabs i believe was on here um that goes in here and you just take out the tab one that small tab and then you can remove this whole section piece the mid piece just pull out very easily and then from that step next what you do is pretty much remove the panels on the side you just all pull up it's like all tabs panels just pull out this section here that uh, middle section over there and then the one on the bottom so let me go on the over that side the reason why you need to remove those um, panels because once you need to reach out to the subwoofer, they, they um, the subwoofer box is kind of stuck um, with these panels on the side in here. So the only way to do it, if you want to lift out the whole subwoofer box, um, you have to remove all these panels. Pretty much a um, couple tabs here and there, um, and also this kind of screws in here that you have to remove it. It's very easy, and just make sure that you keep you put all your screws back because. Where it's supposed to be because you don't want to kind of like um you know like kind of confuse like oh which one is which one for what because i do that all the time and sometimes you end up um you know messing up with your um threads and also the um other things i have to do is I remove the um the bar the crossbar in here um once you do remove all these panels it's very easy to remove the and the crossbar just couple screws and also there's um you know I guess I have a Cusco bar, so you can, there's one, um, you can see bolt in here, so it's two bolts that goes um, inside. Anyway, so that's very easy removing the bar. Uh, once you do that, you want to, you might want to remove the, the seats that you, one of the seats you have to do, um, we have to remove it, either the passenger or the driver seats, and um, so that you have some room to pretty much take out the whole subwoofer box. Now, the challenge is the last part that you're going to have a problem with is actually with this mid section right here so i'm going to show you through really quick as you can see i drilled some holes in there two holes now the reason behind it is because um when you have the subwoofer the box so what happens is there's two tabs that goes like midline that goes um, mid section here it goes across like that pointing this way now the only way you can reach down to that those um little um tabs is by literally um either you pull out this whole midsection piece which for me i kind of find it really hard to do it because i i try to remove some bolts in here um i try to remove the um you know more panels in here i'm trying to lift out the whole thing but it, it will not budge and i don't want to break anything uh, because it connected to all the electronics so what I did was because I know that was a plastic piece, it's just a plastic, and then and eventually this will come on like this anyway, we'll cover it off, nobody can see it. So what I did is to reach down, I had to drill these two holes, the pilot holes, end up becoming a messy hole. <laughs> and you can see that's two, I don't know if you can see that very well, but right there, right there, you can see that, um, yeah, so there, um, those little black tabs, uh, back, uh, black like caps that goes on door on that place, and that's where the um, the uh, what you want to call it the the subwoofer um, piece goes across, and you have to remove that pretty much. And then once you remove those two tabs, then you can pretty much lift the whole subwoofer box, and that's the only piece that will pretty much get you stuck um, to take out the subwoofer box. So just kind of give you that a peace of mind okay once you do that then you can do whatever you do in your car pretty much what i've done here um putting all the um the sound deadening um floor mats and i changed the subwoofer uh, to bath audio as well as the um the speakers and the tweeter the mid speakers and tweeter as well in there i've changed the one in here as well in the middle in the front so um so that will be an upgrade, obviously. Um, I did not get to um, post videos, but if you look into the Beth Audio Sound, they'll kind of show you how to do it. 
very simple and um yeah so that's pretty much it so i'm gonna be i have something coming you know um to this car very soon um some big projects so hopefully it'll get done within this month or next month and the reason i'm not really rushing is because it's winter and uh winter in this coast is pretty horrible for car show or car meet so i don't really go out that much but anyway um this car's been sitting in the garage i only took it out yesterday for a drive just kind of warm it up but other than that you can see then um beside the carbon fiber i have the carbon fiber um steering wheel as well as the um the carbon fibers paddle shifter but i wrapped it in um yellow obviously so it looks nicer that way yeah so yeah guys that's it i mean if you guys have any questions definitely just follow um the steps that i just give uh, to you one by one removing this panels is very important you have to go all the way down in here the panels on the side it has to come off and then um yeah and then that that midsection taps and that's that's the pretty much the only ones that you need to do all right well that's it for now for today if anything else uh definitely we'll post it up more videos i'll see you guys on the next video take care